So, Yankees fans, the eight-game streak has ended. NYNews.com, our streak has ended predicting series. I really thought the Yankees were going to come back and win this game at one point. They did. But if you ask me, the Yankees gifted the Red Sox this win. They could have easily swept them. Tyler Austin, in my opinion, killed two rallies in this game. If I were Boone, I would sit him out and just play Walker at this point. Tyler Austin has fallen off quite a bit. Another thing to mention, leaving Batances in to pitch two innings. I don't know what the love fascination with Batances and two innings is. History shows that it does not work with Batances. So the Yankees had this game won, but practically gifted it to the Red Sox. Even in the first inning when Didi did not throw home, the Yankees literally gave an extra run to the Red Sox, and it went and bit them in the you-know-what at the end. A lot of problems that I saw originally with the Yankees starting lineup today. I have no idea why Torres started at third and why Walker did not start when he is red hot. He He's one of the hottest Yankees. So there's a lot of question marks concerning this game. But also the umpire, the home plate umpire did squeeze the Yankees quite a bit. A lot of dumb calls in my opinion. So there was a lot of things working in the Red Sox advantage. Like I said, it's a tough loss because the Yankees could have easily won this game. And a lot of bad decisions were made. During the game and even before the game, starting to Reyes and sitting out Walker. If you ask me, that made absolutely no sense because it literally handicapped you when it came to your bottom lineup. So, yeah, a lot of question marks. It's just a tough loss. Knowing that the Yankees could have swept the Red Sox, they had them swept. And all it took was just a couple of minutes for J.D. Martinez to hit that home run and put the Red Sox ahead. I like Boone. I like what Boone has done with this team. But if you ask me, leaving Batances in there to pitch to J.D. Martinez or even considering him pitching two innings was just a bad mistake. I mean, really, your bullpen is stacked. So really, it was just a gift to the Red Sox. I mean, if you ask me, the Yankees had them swept. And if you ask me, the Red Sox are just going to continue to be subpar. They obviously showed the Yankees that they are subpar. They literally were going to get swept. So I wouldn't be concerned when it comes to are the Red Sox going to give the Yankees competition? In my opinion, no, because you saw the Yankees still being the Yankees, coming back and tying the game. So you don't have to worry about the Yankees unless stupid decisions like leaving Batances in to pitch two innings are made. I mean, really... Tyler Austin killing two rallies. Tyler Austin swinging at the first pitch. Joe Kelly threw at him. Another inning where the bases were loaded. He was swinging at a whole bunch of balls. I mean, really, a lot of opportunities that were missed in this game. And like I said, it's a tough loss because you know for a fact that the Yankees could have swept the Red Sox easily. So there you have it, folks. Our streak of predicting series is over. The Yankees' win streak is over, and I mean, really, they just got to learn from these mistakes because, really, a loss is a loss, but it might come back to haunt you. Just like that one run Didi Gregorius allowed to score in the first inning, it came back to bite them in the cojones. So, like always, Yankees fans, share, like, and subscribe to this video. Get the word out about nynews.com. Also, if you are a blogger, writer, whatever, we will feature you on that website. Tough loss, but I, I, in my opinion, the A's might give the Yankees a tough time just because this is the same team that no hit the Red Sox. But who knows? Let's see if the Yankees can bounce back from this horrible loss. It, it really is the, the toughest loss yet of the season because the Yankees were playing so good and they just practically gave this um, game away. But yeah, check you out next time.